so uh, I wanted to ask you, Coach Diaz mentioned that you sent him a text, I guess, yeah. after the last game. You had 11 tackles. Uh, looked at, on paper, at least you played pretty well. And Coach said, you said you didn't play well and you would play better and that sort of thing. So walk me through, you know, what you said in the text, what Coach Diaz said back to you, and then also why you think you didn't play as well as you could have. I mean, yeah, like like you said, on, on paper it looks good. Um, and yeah, I played hard, I played fast, but when it comes down to – our scheme of things and, you know, some of my assignments, I could have did a lot better on. There could have been a lot more plays where maybe I wouldn't have had those tackles. Maybe I would have had a, a, a PBU or maybe an interception. So um, I reached out to all the I came to Coach Baker, you know, Coach Banda and Coach Diaz and just said um, I could play better. You know, I'll do better next game. And I really lock in this week, especially it being Florida State. So, um he just replied back. He was like, I love to hear it. Like, I love that, you know, you're taking accountability for what you did. And um, he was just like, you know, attack the day, attack the week. Great. Next up, we're going to go to David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead for Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Um, I, I guess first, just this, this safeties rotation you guys got to have with you, Gervin and Amari. You guys were kind of the group last year, too. Obviously, you got hurt, um, so you guys didn't have a full season together. But just kind of curious, what, how do you feel you guys all kind of complement each other? Um, and, and then also you coming back from an injury, um, just what was that process like? And, and just the way you got injured, I'm sure that was frustrating, like just kind of what went through your mind throughout that rehab. I mean, all three of us, we know like we're all starters in our, you know, in our eyes and then in the team's eyes and the coach's eyes. So, you know, we connect together on a, on a different level. It's like we don't – there's no tension between any of us. We just know like it just flows. You know, we go into the game. It's just like, all right, here, like you go. Like, oh, I'm tired. All right, come in. I go. Like whatever. It's just – it's very natural. Um, but I mean, with the whole injury thing, like obviously you guys seen what happened last year. Um, it's a freak accident. Like, I can't get mad at nobody. I mean, it happened. It's not like I can fix my leg in the middle of the play or anything. So, you know, you live and learn and move on. Um, rehab coming back was a little bit different due to the coronavirus. So it's like I kind of had to do everything on my own, you know. So that was that was a little bit challenging. But as you can see, I'm 100% back and ready. So ready to play. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go to David Faronas of the Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead for Bubba. Hey, Bubba. I want to know uh, in that rehab, uh, just when you felt uh, you were really back, um, you know, kind of what it took out of you and then uh, also what it meant to, uh, you know, working that hard to get back to then get to the point where then, you, you know, you start a game again and then you end up an ACC Defensive Player of the Week uh, for DBs. I mean, at the very beginning, it was like, so at the very start of spring ball, I, um, I don't know if you guys, you know, seen that first week. Like I wasn't out there, but I felt I could honestly go at that point. There was a couple of things that you know I needed to work on, like you know with my breaks and things like that. But I say probably maybe two weeks after that, I felt like I was 100% ready. Um, and if we did have spring ball still, I'd have probably been back early um, for that. So you know, it's been a long journey. Um, but, you know, I had to, you know, stay down for the come up. And, you know, now I'm here and yeah, I got to keep going. That's a lot more to improve on, a lot more to, to get better at. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go to Susan Miller Degnan of the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead for Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Um, last year was your first UM FSU rivalry game. Um, I guess it was new to you. What did you heard about it and what was it actually like? Um, I, I know you got injured, but just the, the hype leading into it. And do you get the sense of how important this is to the kids from South Florida, to the players? No, yeah, definitely. It's a big game. Like coaches always say this is the biggest game of the year, no matter what, no matter who we're playing. This is our rivalry. So, um, you know, last year I've seen like uh, there's a lot of tension between both teams. You know, a lot of players from both sides know each other, maybe grew up with each other. So. Um, I'm kind of new to all of it. I'm not from, you know, Florida or this, you know, this area. So I just come out here and kind of go with the flow of everything, you know, kinda maintain focus and just play. 
Okay, and also as a follow, um, who is particularly challenging to you on, you know, on offense for FSU? Who do you really have to be careful about? I would say everyone on the uh, on the team is good. Um, you know, they got some star players. They got some good receivers. Um, so you know, we got to key in on everybody. We got to lock in on everybody. We can't just you know try to key in on one person and you know leave somebody that we you may not think that is is so good. You know, he end up you know balling out in the game. So we got to lock in on everybody and um, you know just do what we do best. Thank you. Great. Our last question for Bubba comes from Christopher Stock of Inside the Group. Chris, go ahead for Bubba. Yeah, Bubba, with that uh, being said, can you speak uh, in particular with Terry, Tamari and Terry, a bigger receiver? And you guys face Watkins and Fitzpatrick the first two weeks, so you've seen one. But just maybe the challenge is that a bigger receiver, a guy like Terry, presents uh, for the secondary? Definitely. Um, his size is a, is a big key. Uh, what he likes to do is get get downfield. I don't know if you guys have seen, but a lot of his routes, a lot of his touchdowns have came on deep routes. So that would be a big thing for, for me, um, for us safeties, honestly, and our corners, just to, you know, try to, you know, key in on him, key in on, you know, not giving up no deep routes. Um, but, but really, I mean, he's a good player. You know, he got good size, good speed. So, you know, we got to just lock in. Awesome. Bubba, thanks for taking the time to talk with us and good luck on Saturday. Yeah, appreciate it.